Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing the rise of the Roman Empire. We will be going to identify causes and effects of the spread of Christianity. We will describe the major political, religious, philosophical, and cultural influences of Rome. We will describe the spread of Christianity. We will describe the changing roles of women and children and families in classical Rome. And we will identify the origin and diffusion of major ideas in math, science, and technology that came out of classical Rome. By the time that you have finished, you will have analyzed some primary and secondary sources about Christianity within the Roman Empire. First, we'll talk about Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar was a Roman general and a national hero who was very beloved by the people of Rome. He ended a civil war in Rome and made himself dictator for life. He was assassinated by members of the Senate because they were jealous of his power and how much he was admired by the people, and also because they were afraid that as dictator he was going to take political power away from them. His successor was Augustus Caesar. He became the next emperor of Rome. He preserved Rome's republican institutions and removed corrupt officials from power. He was worshipped as a god by his followers and his later successors expanded all of the Roman frontiers. Between 27 BC and 395 AD, Rome experienced a long period of peace. This is known as the Pax Romana, Latin for Roman peace. Rome ruled effectively over this very large empire by respecting local customs, providing a system of laws, promoting trade, and offering Roman citizenship to people who were loyal to them. During the height of the Roman Empire, a lot of achievements um, came out of this civilization. They were great engineers. They invented concrete and built over 50,000 miles of roads. They also created aqueduct aqueducts to help deliver water in, from distant places into this, the, Rome, this, uh, the empire. Um, the, the Roman army were the first professional soldiers who were obedient to generals. And they also um, constructed the Colosseum, which can be pictured here. And it's this very large stadium that was used for entertainment, that is where gladiator games were held, and also public executions. Women in, role, in, in Rome followed traditional gender roles. Women were responsible for household chores and taking care of the children, and men represented the family in the public setting. Mo there was more equality for women in Rome than in Greece. Lower class women were allowed to work outside of their home. They could own property and make wills, um, but they could not participate in government. And lastly, we'll talk about the Jews in the Roman Empire and the rise of Christianity. Um, around 66 AD, all the way up until 135 AD, um, the Jewish population that had been conquered by the Romans had begun to um, revolt. Um, the army crushed rebellions and destroyed their uh, their temple in Jerusalem, and the Jews were driven out of Israel. This marked a period known as Jewish diaspora, another word for dispersion. Uh, many many of the Jews that were previously part of the Roman Empire fled north and west into other parts of Europe and they even settled in other areas of the Middle East. This is a map of the Jewish diaspora, the dispersion of the Jewish people. As you can see here, the, uh, here's where a lot of them settled in the Middle East and others sought refuge in other parts of Europe in the west. Jesus was a Jewish carpenter and teacher. He preached forgiveness, mercy, and sympathy. Um, he was crucified by the Romans for claiming that he was the Messiah or the Savior of the Jewish people. If you remember from uh, previous uh, lectures or uh, your, your Christian teachings, um, Jews were waiting for a Savior and they called the Savior the Messiah. This person was supposed to, um, as prophecy stated, save them from the oppression of, of foreign rule. And some Jews believed that 
this Messiah was Jesus Christ and others did not. Those who believed that he was the Messiah became Christians and uh, uh, and that is where um, Christianity branches off from Judaism. But do remember that um, Christianity and Judaism have the same beginnings. The apostles, who were Jesus' followers, helped spread his message after his death. Christianity spread quite quickly throughout the Roman Empire because of the promise of an afterlife for everyone. Even the poor could be saved. Romans, however, persecuted Christians for their beliefs because they refused to worship the emperor as a god. And a lot of them were murdered in the Colosseum uh, during the gladiator games. Emperor Constantine later had a vision before an important battle and he claimed that he saw the vision of a cross and after he won the battle he credited uh, Christianity for um, his win and he converted to Christianity himself and one of the most important things he did was allow for, for Christians to practice their um, religious religion freely. Um, after a while, Christianity became the official religion of the Roman Empire. This map here is uh, a map of the Roman Empire in 600 AD and you can see um, everything in yellow are uh, Christian areas um, and the dark orange spots are areas where Christianity spread. And that brings us to journal entry number 10. You have a set of documents that um, you need to examine and answer questions about. And once you have done answering all of those questions, I want you to analyze all of the documents together and explain how Christianity changed from a persecuted sect to a straight religion within the Roman Empire. In other words, why and how did Christianity start as a religion where his, its followers were persecuted and killed and not allowed to practice freely and later become the official religion of the Roman Empire? How did that happen and why? And that brings us to the end of the lecture. If you have any questions, ask me in class the next time I see you and thank you for watching.